Hey Crystal, this is Jeff with Zucor Marketing. We're based out of San Antonio, Texas, and Eric forwarded your website over for an analysis. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get more customers online. We're also going to run through a couple of things that you can implement right now. And of course, aside from reviewing your website, we're also going to look at one of your top competitors' website and show you how they're currently meeting you online, what you can actually do differently to, of course, counteract that. So first, we'll start off with your website. Well, you actually have a pretty good looking website. You have your logo at the top. You have good photos, nice layout, good amount of contents, and you also have your client testimonials, which is um, actually needed for a website. So yeah, there's actually just some few things we're going to get over with first to make sure we get you on top of the search list. Well, one thing I can tell you right off the bat is that Google loves content. Google actually would like to see a minimum of 1,500 words on a homepage. And in addition to this, the more content you'll have, the more you look like an expert in Google's eyes. So of course, if you want to beat out the competition, you'd want to have 1,500 words or more. So let's go ahead and do a quick count just for us to see how many words you have on your homepage. So currently we have 618 words, which is not a bad number. However, we're still quite behind with the goal of 1500 for us to actually be considered by Google as a trustworthy website. Another thing we like to talk about are keywords. Google is also looking for keywords. It's looking for what the site should be found for. So if you have the exact words listed multiple times on your website, you're going to be really relevant for that search. And of course, Google is going to, Google is going to be willing to put you higher in the results. So we did a quick search of the fencing installation in one of the areas you're servicing. And we'll talk more about the results that we have here. Starting off with the first one. So these are the sponsored or the paid ones wherein people are actually paying ads for their website to show up here. So we're not going to be talking much about the paid ones, but rather we'll move on to the next part. So this right here is what we call the map pack. And of course, this is something wherein you really would like to be on since these are the ones that get a lot of attention, a lot of traffic, and they're easier to find. One way for you to actually be here is you'll need to have Google My Business profile where you'll enter as much information as possible, like the company name, phone number, email, company address, hours of operation, photos, and so on and so forth. And also if you add those same information into as many directories as possible, like on Yelp, Yellow Pages, Angie.com, that will really help you a lot to appear in the map pack faster. Moving on to the next part, these are what we call the organic searches. So these are all the website that actually ranks higher without people paying for any ads just because they're doing some certain things. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about and analyze. So I pulled up one of the top ranking website. Let's see what they have differently. So for their website, they also have their logo at the top. They have their call to action. They also have good photos and good amount of contents. Let's see how many words they have on their homepage. So for their website, they have 1,590 words, which means they've already met the goal of 1,500. So one of our main focuses now would be adding more words into your homepage. That way, Google will consider your website a much more trustworthy website. Let's go ahead and take a look at the numbers as well. So we have your Ahrefs. One of the paid tools that we're using for us to have some more information on the back end of your website. So we'll be talking more about the numbers, starting off with DR. So this is the level of trust that Google has in your website, and UR is the strength of your website. Backlinks, on the other hand, these are other websites that were first to your website. So they're like shoutouts from different directories like Yellow Pages, Yelp, and alike. One important thing that I need to discuss about backlinks and referring domains is that this actually needs to be a 2 to 1 ratio. So the 23 referring domains that you have, these are what we call the good or strong backlinks. And the rest of the missing backlinks, those are what we consider the spammy backlinks. So let's take a look at your competitors' numbers. So with DR and UR, it actually shows that they have a much more trustworthy and a stronger website. And that's mainly because they have more backlinks. They also have more keywords, which gave them more traffic. You don't need to be overwhelmed with the numbers that they have here. What's important is you just need to increase the number 
of your backlinks and your keywords while you're increasing the number of your backlinks you just need to make sure that you also increase the number of the referring domains that way you'll have a much better ratio between the two and of course in the end you'll definitely get more traffic out of it so let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the referring domains and keywords that they're using let's also discuss the importance of this to especially making your website stronger and better Starting off with the strong backlinks, these are all the directories they're currently listed on that actually brings them a lot of attention and a lot of traffic. That's why they're also ranking higher in the searches. Next are the organic keywords. So these are all the keywords they have listed on their website. So when customers search for these specific words, their website will show on top of the list. And if you also look at the numbers under volume, these are the total number of people that searches for the specific keywords on Google every month. So that's how important in choosing the right keyword is. That way, more customers will be able to find your website faster and easier. Another thing we like to share about keywords is what we call the hidden keyword. So for every photo that you have listed on your website, you can actually rename them with a hidden keyword instead. That way, you'll be able to have more hidden keywords added into your website. And not only that, of course, for those keywords to not to be repetitive on your website as well. So just to wrap things up, the most important things that we can do to improve your ranking is first the amount of content when we're going to add more words into your homepage. That way, Google will actually consider your website a much more trustworthy website. Next would be the backlinks when we're going to add your information to more directories as possible. That way, we can actually bring you more traffic and of course, the higher chances of your website in appearing in most of the map pack searches. Last but not the least would be the keywords where we're going to help you out in adding more keywords and of course choosing the right ones. That way more customers will be able to find your website quicker and easier. So these are all the things that you can actually implement right now and of course we can also help you out in making these changes and more with the goal of getting you many new customers. So Eric will also be following up just to get some feedback about the ideas I discussed on this video. So we really do appreciate your time. Y'all have a wonderful day. Bye.